what's up guys today i am going to show you how we will use nippy and build our processor in it further at the end of the video i will show you how you can group all the processor in one group so let's get started to do so i will take one scenario so in this scenario what will be there is i will copy one from files from one folder to another folder so there are two folder I have created in my directory. So I'll show you. In this temp, I have having two folders. So one is input, another is output. So both the folders are empty for now because I, we will insert file in them. So what is the scenario is all the files which I used to insert in this input one will be automatically fetched and written in this output fund. So I will do all this stuff, bunch of stuff using Nippy. So to do so, I will drop one processor. Processor name is get file. Get file. Okay. So I will hit it this processor and hit add. Now we have to configure it, right click it and hit configure. Now inside this property will be available and now input directory. Input directory, let's get into this directory input. Now ls. Nothing inside this directory, right? Inside you. So I will use command pwd to show me on the location of the directory now copy it i copied it and then paste it here hit okay now automatically terminate relationship this option should be ticked with success now there are whole bunch of options which need to be specified but for now we will skip it and keep our configuration simple i will press apply okay now our configuration is ready i will drop another processor named put file so put file i will specify it hit it and then add this one i will keep it here now i will right click it and configure inside configure specify just the directory uh this directory is i will get into output one nothing inside it oh these are all the files which i have previously put into it now i will remove it now nothing is there so there's nothing so i will get the location of the folder using pwd so this is the location of the folder i will copy it and now paste it hit ok now in the settings tab automatically terminate relationship hit both of them pick both of them failure one and for success also right let's hit apply now this one is also created fine now it is showing me error connection upstream is required that means it needs a connection from uh, our appliance a upstream connection that is the connection from one processor to another so i will hit it and drag it and drop it. just touch them both of them now i will name it move file and then add it now this is configured so there is option of queue i will show you later on so this is the whole how we are working on now what i will do is 
just drop the file create file inside inside our input one slash input there is no file so i will start this whole to start it press shift and then select all of them with the left mouse button and then here let's start press start so i have started it now i will use touch doc1 doc1 is created but automatically fast and put inside if output one now let's cd into slash dnp slash output now you will see this doc1 right now let's create two three more files input and now using touch i will create doc2 doc3 nothing will be available here all the because this, these processes are working for us so every file is being fetched and put inside this file now this is the whole task which it is doing so let's use this queued option to do so i what i will do is select this one and stop it now what i will do is create more files and these files inside this input and these all will be queued for getting inside the output directory so i will create doc4 doc4 yes it is not here but it is the doc4 is not inside output directory also because it is queued yes input this one now it is not inside output also so where it is it is queued see this one one is queued previously it was zero now this is the way full stuff is working now our whole setup is working fine we have to just package it to do so press shift press shift and select all of them right click sorry and uh, hit this button shift select all of them and hit this group button this one specify the group name i will na name it test test group now add it you have added all your all your flows processes inside this group so this is the way how you will design a processor group and the group of process inside it i have shown you how you have to input take file from one directory and move them to another directory using nifi in subsequent video i will show you how to do more stuff on nifi thanks for now and if you want more support or our support or any details about us feel free to contact us on our website adidas.com thank you